Well, hello, good smelling people. Welcome back to my world of fragrance. I thought I would do a what's in my fragrance bag video for you guys today. I just adore watching what's in my bag videos. <sighs> I don't know why. I guess I'm just nosy like that. But uh, spoiler alert, this is all gonna be perfumes, pretty much all perfumes in the Mary Poppins bag. And I basically wanted to show you guys what kinds of fragrances I carry around because I do often have at least a couple of something something in my bag so that I can freshen up during the day and you know, cause you never know when your fragrance is gonna fade away. And I hate when my perfume fades and I don't smell like anything nice. That's just me. So let's see what is inside the bag. Lots of bottles in here. And these are not decants. This is all like mini size bottles of fragrances. So the first one that I'm going to show you is my small bottle of Isatis by Givenchy. This is a 30 ml bottle. This is a pretty affordable fragrance and it's just a floral powerhouse, an uber sensual, well, I'm not sure if it's that sensual, but it's an uber ladylike fragrance. There's a prominent ylang ylang note in this fragrance. And I feel like even though this has been reformulated and changed, if you try this on one hand and you try one of like the new newer floral fragrance releases out there on the other You're gonna be like why even bother like that new stuff is so watered down. So even Changed it's a pretty good fragrance for today's standards Next we have two fragrances by sweet oft. I just adore the fact that these come in 30 ml bottles I've done a review of these. I have a sweet oft review that you can check out um, but this is Cambodian Oud and Black Rose. These are both Oud fragrances, but a clean Oud, a medicinal Oud, not a animalic Oud, which I also love, but really, really convenient sizes on these. I have a small bottle of Sappho. This is a 15 ml by Lush. I just really like the style of Lush perfumes, actually, now that I've gotten more into them. This came in a set with some other perfumes and it's just so smart of Lush. Like they had this whole collection where you could get these small 15 ml bottles. Sappho is one of those, um, it, it's like an ode to the glamorous 50s, 60s style fragrances. Like it kind of reminds me of Chanel number no. five, but more rough around the edges, the way Lush perfumes are. It just adds this quirky bohemian vibe to an otherwise very posh smelling fragrance. And I love to have this in my bag for evenings because then I just smell glammy, you know, glammed up with this one. I have a small bottle from Schwarzluse, a Berlin brand that I really love. They have some cool fragrances. Some of them are amongst like my favorite fragrances. This one is Captive Number no. One. It's a very peppery iris. So I just love my pepper and fragrances. I love my spices and this is one that I like. I have a small 30 ml of Terre d'Hermès Eau Intense Vetiver. This is a flanker of the original Terre d'Hermès, of course. And I just love that this comes as a small 30 ml and it came with a big 200 ml refill bottle. So I just refill this, you know, and then always have a small bottle. I wish all perfumes came like this because honestly, it would save me a lot of money. A lot of the 30 ml bottles are just pricey, like per ml, you know? So price wise, 100 ml is always better, but yes, this was a good option. What else do I have in here? I have two small Serge Lutens uh, travel cases. So this one is Femité du Bois, which is a woody fragrance that lies between masculine and feminine. And it's just the inspiration to so many woody fragrances that followed. So this is an absolute classic. Adore it. I also have Tuberose Criminelle, which is probably my favorite Tuberose fragrance by Serge Lutens as well. So when you buy the large Gratte-Ciel uh, collection bottles, you also get like a little travel atomizer with purchase, which, wonderful.
Then I have a candle. <laughs> I have a little candle by Clive Christian. This came in a set of three and I actually like carrying like a little mini candle or something that I can use to make my space more homey when I'm traveling, when I used to travel. So this is a top note candle. It comes with middle notes, base notes, and basically you can create the entire fragrance composition, but the top notes are citrusy and lovely, and this would really liven up any space that you're in. I mean, come on, look. I love my candles. I have a little roller ball that is a de-stress aromatherapy roller ball by Tisserand. I love aromatherapy, of course. <laughs> I'm in the scent game. So this I can just rub onto my pulse points and rub together and be like, you know, and all of the stress of the day just tumbles off, falls off, <laughs> and I'm renewed basically. So. It's probably more mental than anything, but it works. I have a 30 ml bottle of Berlin by Galavent. I think these only come in 30 ml bottles. I have pretty much all of the Galavent fragrances. And this one is really nice, fresh, semi-sweet, citrusy. Uh, it's called Berlin. Did I just say that or what? It's Berlin by Galavent and I just adore the way that they are. I like stacking them on top of each other. I've done that on my Instagram. And yeah, not much to not like about Galavant. I feel like they're quite, you know, they have their own style, but they're also not offensive. So I think most people would like that brand. What else? I also have a few oils by Kumba Made. I've mentioned this brand before, I think. I just love them. I discovered them when I was in New York City. A young girl doing an internship trying to smell good on a budget and I found these in Whole Foods so they're natural and they're fragrance oils and I use them till this day now I find them on eBay because I live in the UK and this is the Tunisian amber one if I want to add a nice warm nest to a scent I will wear this underneath it I have the Egyptian musk one this is one of my favorites it's a clean musk scent so if I want to add that nice white musk edge to a fragrance i'll use these I'll also wear these on their own you know and i have a tunisian myrrh so this smells like it smells more like what's well, like a cold myrrh frankincense -y type of scent and i just adore these i think they're really good value for money and i can always apply these whenever wherever Next, I have another oldie but goodie. This is Lulu by Cacherel. I just, oh, I mean, this bottle's iconic, isn't it? This is another really good, affordable fragrance. In my opinion, I find this to be complex with multiple layers. There's a little bit of incense in the base. This is predominantly a warm floral fragrance. And this has changed as well. It's been reformulated and all of that. It is an older perfume, but I still adore it. And my son has gotten a hold of this one. So the lid actually comes off, which defeats the whole purpose of being able to put it in your bag and go, but <laughs> I still will keep it and use it. And yeah, I like that one. Next, we have a couple of colognes, Eau de Cologne. So I have a pet peeve when people call everything cologne, like it's not correct. And Eau de Cologne is a cologne. I'm actually not even sure if these are Eau de Cologne, but anyways, they're from Czech and Speak, which is a UK brand. I think this one is a lavender one. This one is a darker gentleman's cologne. And I adore lavender. I adore fougère fragrances that are mainly characterized by having lavender in them and i think that it's totally wrong that women can't wear a barbershop fragrance i adore barbershop scents i think that there's nothing better to get you on your feet in the morning you know when you've just woken up you don't really need a cup of coffee you just have these and they work like coffee for me essentially and then i can always spritz it on the go if i've forgotten to apply something don't you hate it when that happens when you just dash out the door and then you've forgotten to put on perfume i do so i have these handy next i have some more oils i adore oils like it really is something that i've lately become very I don't know, just really into the whole ritual of applying oils. I think it's because I have more time to apply perfume now that I'm at home most of the time. So these are by Maison Louis Marie. I've spoken about them before. I actually have four. I don't know where the fourth one went, but when I did a video on this brand, I actually was saying that these are a little bit pricey and blah, blah, blah. And I ended up <laughs> with four of them. So 
I guess I justified the price. Uh, this is number four, number 11, and number three. I, I just like all of them. I think that they're so easily wearable and they're so easy to apply, and plus they're so cute. So yes. Next, I have a little Vetiver Tonka by Hermès Sans. So Hermès has a luxury line called Hermès Sans, and a lot of the you know, designer brands will have a regular line that you know, is more accessible to everyone, and then they'll have a premium line. So I'm sure most of you know about this, but it's the premium line. This is one of their first releases from the line. I love it. It smells very similar to Bal d'Afrique by, uh, by Byredo. So I never bought that fragrance because this came first, essentially. And uh, at the time, I couldn't afford like a big bottle of this. They're quite pricey. So I had the option of getting four little mini ones in a set. So I went for that. And you could actually mix and match the fragrances that you choose from the line. I don't know if Hermes still does this, but it was really handy. So this is like the last bit that I have left. I'm pretty much saving it because I want to have it for reference. I have a little itty bitty bottle of Z14, I think it is. Um, this is a gentle mini cologne style fragrance as well. I think actually I ordered it by accident, like it was supposed to be a bigger bottle <laughs> and this showed up, but I don't mind, I think it's cute. I have a little bottle of Black Perfecto by La Petite Robe Noire by Guerlain. So this is a flanker of the La Petite, no La Petite Robe Noire fragrance by Guerlain. This is just enhanced by more leathery notes. It's supposed to be a little bit more rock and roll, less like sweet person, sweet girl. I wanna say girl, but I mean person because anyone can wear it. And to be honest, I would not say this is like the best cherry fragrance out there. All of these are based on cherry. There are better cherry fragrances, but it was affordable and I really like the itty bitty bottle. So for touch ups and stuff like that, I don't mind. And I think it's quite cute as well. So what do we have next? I have a little bottle of En Passant by Frédéric Malle. This is actually the only specimen of Malle fragrances that I have in my wardrobe. I will probably be changing that very soon and going for it, buying a full bottle of something. So this one is like walking past a bush of lilacs. I mean, could you imagine anything better than that? It's just a very lovely, optimistic scent that yeah is realistic on the florals is kind of watery but in a in a wonderful way that um the perfumers that work with mal you know i i like what they do so this is one that i enjoy from the line i have another oldie but goodie this is estee lauder's sensuous who remembers this perfume this was one that i was just obsessed with back in the day when I was looking for an affordable fragrance that featured the honey notes, I really adore the honey note in perfumery. And this one has honey mixed in with some sandalwood. So it's woody and then with that sweet side. And I was so happy that I had finally found a fragrance that was sweet, but not in a candy way. And yeah, this was like in the beginning of my fragrance journey. So this one brings back memories in a good way. Oh, and then I have these really cool incense sticks that are from a brand called Hebe. I found them at a concept store here in London called Earl of East. And basically you just take one of these matches, see, and you light it up and then you put it on this little tray so that wherever you are is not going to burn down and it burns in 10 minutes and then you have the beautiful scent of incense in your room so this is a yuzu flavor and i just think it's an ingenious idea like if you don't have much time you're about to dash out because of course if you come to a new place and you're in a hotel room or an airbnb you want to go out and explore right so this just you know will make you feel happy and sometimes the places that you come to they have a funky smell and you want to just freshen it up then I have a small Rive Gauche by Yves Saint Laurent. This fragrance as well brings back memories. The best way to describe her is as a metallic rose. This is a, a rose that's in an aerosol tin can, but that sounds weird, but I mean it in the best way possible. This is just uh, Parisian chic in a bottle. And 
I adore her. It's a 30 ml. This bottle is absolutely iconic. I mean, come on, you all know this bottle, I'm sure, from vintage ads and whatnot. Then for travel, I have another roller ball. This is Petit Grand by Malin and Gotz. So basically, this is great for when you fly on a plane, or for me, I use it for flying. The scent of Petit Grand just is uplifting and clean and it does the trick if you're in an environment that feels kind of icky to put this on and it's also inoffensive to others if I apply it via rollerball. You never spray on perfume on a plane and yeah I always just keep in mind that not everyone wants to smell my perfume and some people actually get really bothered and have allergies so yeah I'm not gonna impose. <laughs> then we're kind of coming to the end I think I have a few oils where these are attar oils, but actually these are more Western style. So there's an Oud Bliss and there is an Imperial Glaze. This is like a musky clean scent. This is a more Oud woody, ambery, also sweet scent. And these are from Imperial Musk. There are a lot of uh, cool brands that do these. I just think they're genius as well to have in your purse and to use and they are some of the most long lasting fragrances because of course this is a lot of fragrance oil inside them so very highly concentrated and I really need to get more attars so leave me any <laughs> recommendations of brands that do amazing attars and I will look into it. Then I have another fresh fragrance this is by Stories by Eliza Grace number two this is a green leafy scent that is uplifting. I also have the body lotion that comes with this, which I really like in the mornings to use. I shower in the morning and in the evening, or not in one day, <laughs> either in the morning or in the evening. And this is nice for those mornings, just really sharp, love it. I have a tiny little bottle of Eau de Merveille by Hermes. This is a fragrance that one of my really good friends wears so I would never be able to wear this as a scent of my own just because I associate it to her. I otherwise think that this is such a great signature scent because it just, it has a certain je ne sais quoi about it. And whenever I wear or dab, you know, I got this as a gift with purchase uh, when I bought something from Hermes, then I can think about my sweet friend. So that's a wonderful thing about scent. I have a small, nice bergamot by Essential Parfum. This is a nice brand because I feel like all of them are pretty easygoing, uh, easy to wear, have a little bit of freshness to them. And this is the bergamot one. There isn't much to say about this. Like it's a woody bergamot fragrance, inoffensive. Everyone would like it. And I love that it comes in this size option. So of course I went for that. I have a tiny little mini of V de Robert Piguet. This is one of my favorite fragrances. It used to be called Visa. And I think this was also a gift with purchase, which is just so lovely. It's also little and gold. I adore gold. And um, yeah, what can I say? This is another glamorous, this is a peachy scent that is sweet yet grown up. And I just adore this one. Then lastly, but not least, we have another uh, oldie but goodie, Stella by Stella McCartney. Wow, this is so tight. <laughs> this is a 30 ml of good old Stella. This is a fragrance that I smell all around me on all sorts of people and I still don't mind. I still adore it. It's the EDP and they used to have limited edition uh, bottles of the 30 mils with some nice design on them and I'm so gutted that I never got those. Um, but I do have the regular EDP, the current one now. And this has been reformulated and all that, but I still think that it's a lovely rose scent, uh, a feminine rose, I will have to say. That's it, yeah, bag is empty. Those are all my travel sizes, my small perfumes. Well, I probably have a few others somewhere else. <laughs> Some of them were missing, but yeah, this was an absolute pleasure sharing this with you. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if this video added any value to your day, I hope that you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more scented stories, more scented adventures, and finding the perfect scent for you. Mm -hmm.